Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm back today with uh, something a little bit different again. I uh, got a little bit bored. So, what I'm going to do is cook them with Coleman. And I'm going to show you how to make a perfect sausage sandwich. Um, now, a lot of people have said in the past that I'm not a very good cook and that I don't really know how to, to be honest. But this is going to be a, a fingers up to them, and uh, you'll see how fucking sick I am at cooking these days. Um, now I've got the I've got the hob heated to the five, and uh, it's took many years of trial and error to get that to the right the right number. I tried it on six, the highest setting for a long time, and um, it was it was overcooking the outside and not cooking the inside enough. Um, so yeah, I'm going with five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of this sweet olive spread into the pan, and then I'm going to let it let it burn up so it's uh, so it's like olive oil, but a lot cheaper. And um, somehow I'm probably saving the planet as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wait for that to just melt in there nicely, and that's going to be lovely in a second when that starts going. The pan's a bit wonky, but uh, we don't worry about that. We, we have to deal with things in life and sometimes overcome obstacles. And uh, this is one of mine. So yeah, as you can see, that's uh, coming along nicely here. Just melting itself down into there. Um, so yeah, basically, once I'm done with you, you'll be able to make the perfect sausage sandwich. And it'll be sweet as fuck. Um, okay, right. Now you can see I've got some pretty sweet sausages. They're decent quality as well. Shout out to Mandy Ray for those. Um, I'm just going to whack them in. I'm not going to pierce them because they're good quality sausages. There's no real need. And uh, there they go. And they're looking good already, to be honest. I can probably eat them like that. Um, let's throw this in the bin. And I have to hop because I still have broken leg. Um, but it's another obstacle. Like I said, I'm a fighter and uh, I make things work. And um, so, yeah, um, while I'm waiting for these to start heating up, I'm going to uh, drink some double strength squash. Now, the importance of double strength squash is that it's meant to last double the amount of time. Or, so I say, you're meant to use half as much in each cup. But to be honest with you, I kind of go a bit all out. I'm a little bit nuts and. Uh, I'd probably put a little bit more in there than I should. I'm going to hop over here and just fill up this squash. Now the reason for double strength as well is that... Oh, hang on, got to make sure that doesn't spill. Um, is that bitches love double strength squash, basically. Um, I've done a lot of research and if a bitch comes around and I offer her some water or some double strength squash, the answer is always the double strength squash. Um, makes you look strong, makes you look manly. Um, if somebody has single strength squash, in an interview situation, the person with double strength would all, I'd put it on my CV, personally. And that's the stuff. And uh, the sausages are starting to, starting to heat up a little bit here, that's nice. Won't take too long in the pan, hopefully. And, um, and yeah, so because these are good quality sausages, you should probably get them if you've got the money as well. Because um, a, a good sausage sandwich really has to has to hit the spot, and uh, it's the right way to start a day. Um, oh, I can hear it sizzling. That's a sexy sizzle. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun just to sit here and cook. I wouldn't usually sit. It seems lazy, I know, but yeah, obviously I'm I'm disabled these days. Um, not only by the leg, but I'm colour blind too, so shout out to uh, all the other colour blind people out there. Peace homies. Um, so yeah, that's really coming along, oh you can really hear the sizzle, you can probably hear it as well. Beautiful, beautiful sound. Gets me a little bit worked up, to be honest with you. And you've got to caress the sausages around the pan, you can't just throw them around. And in many ways it's a lot like, it is a lot like dealing with a lady. Um, you've just got to be gentle, you've got to be attentive and caring and uh, and eventually 
well get to the point where they're ready to eat. Now, well, I'm sitting here and I'm just going to take some more drink. They'll be coming along nicely. And I like to take this opportunity, this time, to, uh, to butter my bread. Now, this has also got to be done, done well. I'm a bit gutted because I'm running out and uh, that means I'm going to have to use one of the crust pieces. I don't usually like to do that because it's a bit dry, a bit, a bit too much bread. So if you have, if you have enough normal sliced bread, then I would say don't use the crust piece. And uh, I'm going to stick some butter on these bad boys. And then you've got to really start from the top and just work your way down to the bottom to come out with a bit of bread that looks exactly like that. I mean, look at that. You can't fuck about with this. Lovely. Um, and then we'll go butter the crust piece. Probably put a little bit more than I usually would on this one because obviously I need to combat the dryness. And then they're done, all ready for me to put the sausages in when they're ready. And they're starting to brown now, lovely. I love how sausages don't give a shit about race or colour. They start off light, they end up brown. Kind of like Michael Jackson in reverse. Um, but yeah, they're looking good. It's a shame my pan's a bit on the wonk. Um, but there you go. Okay, so right, I'm going to leave you for a second and I'm going to come back when uh, when I'm ready to serve. Hello, back again and uh, they're ready, they're ready to go. You can hear them proper sizzling away, lovely. Now look, I'm going to show you what a good sausage looks like. That's lovely that, isn't it? So I'm going to stick that in the sandwich. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them next to each other. I'll show you. Put them next to each other, turn the hob off, safety first guys, come on. And as they're next to each other, like this, okay, so they're they're vertically down in the sandwich. You can uh, you can you can hold it without the sandwich falling apart. There's a science behind it and uh, it's foolproof, so believe me, if you put them horizontally across, that will split down the middle and you will be left with messy everything basically and uh, now all I'm gonna do add the finishing touch which is a nice bit of cheap tomato ketchup and then just pull that on there that looks good look at this cover it cover it Got meat ketchup bread butter beautiful and that my friends is how you make the perfect sausage sandwich now the upside of having the having the crust part I suppose is look that won't fall apart now not for shit that's, that's solid as anything that's a solid base um, and now I'm going to enjoy it so happy sausaging and uh, yeah cheers guys bye